In our next example too, we want to find the area of the region enclosed by the parabolas y equals x squared and y equals 2x minus x squared. Now there's two ways of being able to first look for the boundary points or the points of intersection for this area. One way of doing that is actually graphing both of these curves. Now when you graph both of these curves, whether it's on Desmos or using your calculator, you will notice that the, the first function, 2x minus x squared, is the region that's above. And then the region below is then the graph uh, equals x squared. Now in order to be able to find these boundary points, we can go ahead on the calculator and use our trace function. Or in this scenario, one way of finding the exact points is by setting the two equations equal to each other. Because we know that y is equal to x squared, we know that y is equal to 2x minus x squared. So now setting them, set them, setting them equal to each other and then letting it equal zero and solving for both of those two solutions. So we get 2x equals zero and x is e minus one is equal to zero. So therefore we get x is equal to zero and x is equal to one. And that gives us the point of intersections. So now we know that the lower limit is going to be zero and the upper limit is going to be one. Now, <clears throat> what we can then do is then combine these two together. And what I mean by that is we know that we have 2x minus 2x squared is when you're setting this equal to zero. So we know that we can combine these and make that into one equation here, going from the lower limit of zero to one, which allows us to then factor out the value of two, and then we can integrate a lot easier. So we get two times x squared over two minus x cubed over three with a lower limit of one, zero and an upper limit of one, evaluating those upper and lower limits gives us an area of one-third.